the Lord has spoken with me about the USA. You remember the last time the Lord spoke to me about the USA? He spoke about the White House. The judgment of the Lord that was coming to the White House. And it took only two weeks of my, my pronouncement. And you saw what happened there. The coronavirus devastated the situation there. And the helicopter that I was seeing lifting up from the White House that I did not tell you in that, in that tremendous uh, conversation finally lifted off like this with the president and took him to hospital. Because there are parts which I keep to me. Because I was sensitive. But eventually you saw what happened there. And another time when I spoke from Puerto Odaz. And pointed towards the US like this. And then an earthquake went exactly according to that direction. When all the way through Mexicala and entered the US. And remember another time I gave a short notice. Again, that they should repent. I think it was a short notice of a few hours and then the earthquake took place that shook uh, Johns Hopkins Hospital, New York City, the nuclear plants, shook the monuments, Washington DC, shook the country very severely. White House. I gave a short notice in a hurry and shook the White House and shook the entire nation. And people in New York ran out. They ran out. Even the Pentagon, they ran out. And so tonight, this is what I say to the USA. The Lord has spoken with me about the United States of America. And yesterday I came live on air and relayed that warning to you. And in that conversation, the Lord in the dream, he asked me to turn my face towards the USA. And when I turned my face and faced the United States of America. And then the Lord asked me to command them to repent. And when I commanded them to repent. I said, if you don't repent, then the judgment of God will strike you. I will, I will strike you with the wrath of God. And then at that time, I saw that they did not repent. In that dream, and then the Lord asked me to unleash the wrath of God on them. I remember when I lifted up my left prophetic hand and left prophetic finger like this towards them. Towards the United States of America. Then I saw a massive earthquake shaking them up and down like this. Like that. A lot of buildings going up and down like this. Struck them very hard. The wrath that came out of my prophetic finger. Shaking up and down, up and down. Very violently. And then the Lord asked me to turn my face 
towards Washington DC. Alafu bwana akaniuliza nigeuze uso wangu kwa Washington DC. When I turned towards Washington DC. Na nilipogeuza kuelekea Washington DC. I pointed my finger towards Washington DC. Alafu nikakonyeza kidole changu kwa Washington DC. And I pointed my finger towards the Washington Monument. Alafu nikakonyeza kidole changu kwa Washington ile nguzo la Washington. Then I saw power that came out of my hand and struck that monument and it crumbled down in pieces. Alafu nikaona nguvu ambazo down. Alafu nikaona nguvu ambazo zilitoka katika mkono wangu na kugonga kabisa hiyo mnara ya Washington na kuiporomosha na kuivunja vunja vipande vipande. That is vipande. the national symbol in the USA. Hiyo ndio ishara yao kuu ya kitaifa katika Marekani. That's why it is there in Washington DC. Ndio sababu in their capital city. Ndio sababu iko pale katika Washington DC katika mji wao mkuu. But now time has changed. Lakini sasa wakati umebadilika. The Lord has commanded repentance and the return to Jesus for all nations, all the nations. Na Bwana ameamrisha toba na kurudi kwa Yesu kwa mataifa yote. And so this is my warning to you the United States of America. Hivyo basi hili ndilo onyo langu kwenu majimbo moja wa Marekani. The Lord has commanded repentance in the church. Bwana ameamrisha toba kanisani. The church of Christ in USA, the Lord says you must now stop that false worship. Kanisa la Kristo katika Marekani, Bwana anasema sasa lazima muachane na hiyo ibada ya uongo. The gospel of prosperity. Injili ya ufanisi. The worship of prosperity. Ibada ya ufanisi. The sexual sin in the church. Dhambi ya usharati kanisani. The homosexuality in the land. Ushoga katika taifa. The false prophets in USA. Manabii wa uongo katika Marekani. The false apostles in the USA. Mitume wa uongo katika Marekani. The false evangelists, false pastors, the false teachers in the USA. Waangilisti wa uongo, wachungaji wa uongo, walimu wa uongo katika Marekani. The false gospel of prosperity that is throbbing in your churches in the USA. Injili ya uongo ya ufanisi ambayo imeenea sana katika makanisa yenu Marekani. The Lord has now commanded repentance in the United States of America. Bwana sasa ameamrisha toba katika majimbo ya umoja wa Marekani. And the Lord is asking that you repent now and turn away from sin and receive Jesus as Lord and Savior in holiness. Na Bwana anauliza ya kwamba mpate kutubu sasa hivi na mgeuke kutoka kwa dhambi na mpate kumpokea Yesu kama Bwana na mwokozi wenu katika utakatifu. And turn away from all sin, sexual sin, the homosexuality in the USA. Na mgeuke kutoka kwa dhambi zote, dhambi za usharati, ushoga katika Marekani. That you may turn away from the abortions that have inundated that land. Ya kwamba mpate kugeuka kutoka kwa kuwa vya mimba ambayo imejaa kabisa kwenye taifa hilo. That you may observe Three days of prayer and fasting culminating in one big day of national repentance where the president must be. Ili kwamba mpate kuzingatia na kutenda siku tatu za kufunga saumu nikavu takatifu ili kwamba mpate kumalizia katika siku ya mwisho ya toba ya kitaifa ambapo lazima rais apate kwa pale. That the USA may turn to Jesus. Ili kwamba Marekani wapate kumrudia Yesu. Return to the Lord Jesus. Wapate kumrudia Bwana Yesu. In repentance and holiness. Katika toba na utakatifu. That the United States of America may begin to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Ya kwamba majimbo ya umoja wa Marekani wapate kuanda kuanza kuanda njia kwa ajili ya kuja kwa utukufu kwa Masiya. Otherwise I I will strike you with the wrath of God. La sivyo mimi mimi nitawagonga na ghadhabu ya Mungu. I'll strike you with a massive earthquake. Nitawagonga na tetemeko kubwa la ardhi. And that earthquake will strike down the Washington Monument. Your monuments your your idols na and bring them down. Na hilo tetemeko la ardhi litaigonga mnara ya Washington. Hiyo mirara yenu mikuu kabisa na kuiporomosha chini. And shake the nation of the USA. Na itatingiza taifa la Marekani. That you may know that the prophets of the book of Malachi have come. Ili kwamba mpate kujoya kwamba manabii wa kitabu cha Malaki wamekuja. The prophets that were promised there. Manabii waliohaidiwa pale. When Yahweh we promised that he would send him back. Wakati Yahweh bring him back. Wakati Yahweh alipoahidi ya kwamba atamrudisha tena. And the time is over. Na ya kwamba wakati umekwisha. He has already commanded heavens to open in Lima, Peru. Tayari ameamrisha mbingu kufunguka kule Lima, Peru. All the way from Italy. Kote kote toka Italy. He has commanded heaven to open in Kakamega. Ameamrisha mbingu kufunguka Kakamega. In Lagos, Nigeria. Katika Lagos, Nigeria. Also in Joro. Pia kule Joro. In Eldama Ravine. Eldama Ravine. In Kisi. Kule Kisi. At Menengai 1. Katika Menengai ya kwanza. Menengai 3. Menengai ya 3. And on January 15th, 20, 2017. Na 
mapambano January mwaka 2017 Also recently June 30 Pia hivi majuzi tarehe 30 mwezi wa 6 People now have gone in their homes their food Sasa watu wako na mahindi katika mabamba zao wako na chakula Because of that command Kwa sababu ya hilo amri So the Lord has commanded the nation of the USA to repent and turn away from sin Kwa the homosexuality that is there and abortions and the false churches false prosperity being preached there the gospel of prosperity repent from that repent from the false prophets there repent from the false apostles repent and return to jesus turn away from sin the messiah is coming otherwise i'll strike you with an earthquake and he's coming son bwana ameamrisha taifa la marekani wapate kutubu na kugeuka kutoka kwa dhambi in the white house Wapata kugauka toka kwa dhambi, wapata kugauka toka kwa dhambi za ushoga na usharati, kutoka kwa uongo, injili ya ufanisi, injili ya pesa, mitume za uongo na manabii wa uongo. The Lord has now asked me to turn my face to the United States of America. Bwana sasa ameniuliza, nigeuze uso wangu kuelekea kwa majimbo moja ya Marekani. Listen to me the USA. Nisikilizeni Marekani. I will shake you. Nitawatengiza. I will shake you. Nitawatengiza. I will shake you. At that time. Nitawatengiza mara ya tatu. Then you will know. Ndipo mtajua. That the Lord God Almighty has sent me to you. Ya kwamba Bwana Mungu Mkuu Mwenyezi amenituma kwenu. That you must now repent. Na ya kwamba sasa lazima mtubu. Turn away from sin. Na kugauka toka kwa dhambi. And return to Jesus. Na kumrudia Yesu. In holiness. Katika utakatifu. And righteousness. Na uhaki. Otherwise I will shake you. La sivyo nitawatengiza. I will strike you with an earthquake. Nitawapiga na tetemeko la ardhi. I'll bring down the Washington Monument with an earthquake. Praise the Lord of hosts. Nitaporomosha chini mnara wa Washington na tetemeko kuu la ardhi. Asema Bwana wa majeshi. Then you shall know. Ndipo mtajua that I am the servant of the Lord. Ya kwamba mimi ni mtumishi wa Bwana. That was promised in the book of Malachi chapter 4. Aliahidiwa kwenye kitabu cha Malaki sura ya 4. That the Messiah is coming. Na ya kwamba Masiya yuaje. Everybody must now submit. Na ya kwamba kila mtu lazima sasa ajisalimishe. Under the authority of the Lord. Chini ya mamlaka ya Bwana. And receive Jesus. Na kumpokea Yesu. The pastors in the USA. Wachungaji wa Marekani. You must now organize for a national day of repentance. Lazima sasa mpangilie siku ya kitaifa ya tauba. Where everybody in the nation must now come before Jesus and receive the Lord. Ambapo sasa kila mtu katika taifa lazima uwapate kuja mbele za Yesu na kumpokea Bwana. The king is coming. Mfalme yuaje. The Messiah is coming. Masiya yuaje. You cannot continue burying, burying your head in the sand Ham. and exposing your body out here Ham. exposed but hiding the head in the sand. Hamuwezi kuendelea kuficha vichwa vyenu katika mchanga kwenye udongo ila hali mmeweka wazi mili zenu huku wazi. The Messiah is coming. Masiya yuaje. I have warned the USA. Nimeonya Marekani that if you don't repent there is a massive earthquake coming out of my tongue coming to shake you and tumble down the Washington monument. Ya kwamba kama hamtatubu kuna la tetemeko kuu kabisa la ardhi ambalo limekuja toka katika ulimi wangu na linakuja kuatingiza na kutingiza nguzo kuu ya Washington. Even the White House will be shaken violently. Hata ikuli ya White House itatingizwa kwa fujo. Everything that is shakeable will be shaken. Kila kitu ambacho kinaweza kutingizika kitatingizwa. In the United States of America. Katika majimbo ya umoja ya Marekani. That you may return to Jesus. Ili mpate kumrudia Yesu. The Lord is looking for your attention. Bwana anatafuta umakinifu wewe. He's going to shake you until you come back to him. Anaenda kuwatingiza hadi mpate kumrudia. Kwa nini? Because the Messiah is coming. Kwa sababu Masiya yuaje. You are supposed to be a Christian nation. Ni umarakani mwapaswa kuwa kitaifa la Kikristo. So you must now return to Jesus. Hivyo lazima sasa mpate kumrudia Yesu. In total repentance and turning away from all sin. Katika toba kamilifu na kugauka kutoka kwa dhambi zote. And that you may be holy born again. Na lazima mpate kwa watakatifu mkiwa mmeokoka. And stay there in na, holiness. Na mkae pale katika utakatifu. And begin looking up waiting for the coming of the Messiah. Na mwanze kuangalia juu mkingojea kuja kwa Masiya. The Lord has won the USA today. Bwana ameonya Marekani leo hii. That if you don't repent according to the words of my tongue. Ya kwamba kama hamtatubu kulingana na maneno ya ulimi wangu. Then strictly according to the words of my tongue, a massive earthquake is going to hit you and strike you. Basi kuzingatia tu maneno ya ulimi wangu, tetemeko kuu kabisa la ardhi linaenda kuwapiga
Na kuwagonga. And will tumble down the Washington Monument. Na itaporomosha na kuangusha kabisa nguzo ya Washington. To repent USA. Hivyo tubuni Marekani. And turn away from sin. Na mkauga toka kwa dhambi. That you may enter the kingdom of glory. Ili mpate kuingia kwenye ufalme wa utukufu. Time is spent. Wakati umeyoyoma. Time is over. Wakati umekwisha. Every nation must now repent. Kila taifa lazima sasa watubu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina kula Yesu. So it shall be. Ndivyo itakavyokuwa. Amen. Amen. 